I'm just goofing around with a little bit of testing here. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this inverter, 3000 watt. Um, I was seeing if it worked. Uh, just messing around, I plugged it into uh, my welding cart here. A little um, uh, Harbor Freight 125 amp uh, inverter welder. Um, it did not like it. It went into protection each time I tried to use it. Um, but just, I didn't know if it was bad or not. I plugged in a, a chop saw and it works just fine. Um, it does have a little app here that, you know, gives some information. Um, what I was interested to know was how many amps. I think these wires are probably a little undersized. Um, I believe these are two gauge. Um, it probably needs two aught wires if I had to guess for 3000 watts. Um, but anyway, uh, I've got my uh, amp clamp on here um, yeah this one actually doesn't say on there I have to look up what the uh, what the conversion is on it but anyway I've got to, I want to see how many amps this thing actually draws so I'm gonna start up the truck because you won't be able to hear me after I start it um, put this away uh, also we're kind of hokily connected here so you know buyer beware is there any reason this shouldn't catch on fire i don't think it should Let's start it up all right let's see if we can do this for the uh for the rain comes So we can go in here and uh, check status. It does give us the voltage. Uh, voltage is going to be low um, because the glow plugs are still running. And it is raining, so let me do this real quick. So we'll bring this down here with us. So if I run this, flip it this way. So it shows we're using 20% uh, of our available power. You see the glow plug switched off, so we're at 14 volts now. Let's see if we can bring this down with us and watch, watch what the power does. So we're sitting, well, let's turn it off. Let's see what a power, how that affects power. Okay, it really doesn't. This is an old school clamp. Um, it's one of the ones you have to turn a dial to zero out. So we're at uh, negative 2.3 millivolts. Back on. See what, see what it goes to. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking at this. Oh, it's millivolt. This is a 20 volt range, so it's just showing millivolts. Uh, let's see here. I'm getting rained on. 500 millivolts. millivolts uh, and I'll have to look and see what that I, I assume that's probably 200 amps um, I'll have to check and look all right I apologize I, you I just watched what I recorded and you couldn't see anything I was really just wanting to see if that inverter was working um, just in case anybody watches this video um, this amp clamp um, when you're on the fourth 400 amp scale um, it is one amp per millivolt I think I saw it spike up to 227 millivolts you know around 220 amps um, which sounds right for an inrush when you first start a uh, electric motor. Um, 
You know, obviously, this chop saw designed to run on a 15 amp circuit. I'm sure, of course, I wasn't cutting wood or anything with it. I was just starting it, which I think you, that'll probably be the most amperage you see coming out of that is when you first start it. You know, unless you're cutting something, I don't know, some, some kind of gummy wood or some really hard wood where you almost stall it. You're pushing down on it so hard. Um, but that's fine. I mean, to it, so, I mean, you know, math, that's 20 amps, give or take, for, for a split second, which is fine. That wouldn't pop a breaker. And that's what we would expect to see. Um, but anyway, so that means that this little guy here works, which is awesome. It's super interesting that it would not run that inverter, inverter welder. I am sure there's a reason for that. Um, and I'm probably going to hop on the Google box right after this and just see, um, because I would like to be able to run maybe even, a, I might have to run like an AC stick welder. Maybe it just won't run a DC machine. I don't know if that DC to AC to DC is something weird with that. I'm sure there is. I'm not smart about that stuff. Um, so I may look that up. Um, but anyway, I want to see if that worked and it does. Um, kind of neat that it has a little app. Um, this thing is a power drive 3000. You know as much of it, um, as much about it as I do right now. Um, yeah. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this stupid, short, uh, uh, poorly recorded video. Bye. Also, fun fact, um, uh, <laughs> when I was Googling it, trying to figure out what the scale was for that uh, amp clamp, scanner damage forum.